Hey there, and welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll show you guys how to make it rain in Blender quite easily. So we're going to add some pretty damn cool rain effects in our Blender 3D modeling application. So to make it rain in Blender, you just need a surface. A simple plane like this one will suffice. Then make a duplicate of the plane. The second one, place it on top and it'll work as a rain emitter. So in general, we'll need two things, a dynamic paint canvas and a particle system. So start by ensuring that the surface has as many subdivisions as needed. So to add a subdivision surface modifier to it and switch it to the simple type. So and then set the levels to around five or six for both the viewport and the render. And then for the emitter on top, add a particle system to it. Just leave the settings on default and match the frames number with the scene just for the simulation. Go throughout the entire timeline and do this for each one. You can then adjust the particle number since this plane is quite small. Around 200 or even 100 particles will be enough. Then let's add some physics. Use dynamic paint on both planes. For the surface, set it as a canvas type. Just hit the Add Canvas button and set the surface type to Waves. Next, for the emitter, set it as a brush dynamic paint type. Just hit the Add Brush button. And then, in the Source tab, assign the particle system to it. Then, shade smooth the surface, and in the Canvas settings, Tweak the timescale value for the effect speed. In order to tune down the waves, just adjust the effect radius in the brush source tab. A value of around 0.05 or so should work well. You can then hide the emitter or turn it off from the layers in the particle system settings. And then, if you have a water material, you should get something like this. Now, for some additional information, it's worth mentioning that there are add-ons that can help you achieve this with less time and even more effects, like wet surfaces and water splashes. One of these add-ons is called the Burger Pyrene add-on. And that's really all there is to adding a rain effect to your Blender program. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to like this video if you learned something new, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Yet again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.